Alright, hi. Um, so I just wanted to give a quick rundown of baby's emotional milestones. I don't have any fancy equipment or anything here. We're just going to talk through it. I've written a few things down. I've done some really basic illustrations. Um, nothing fancy here. We're just, we're just going to go through them. We're going to be talking about baby's positive and negative emotions and um, when they should emerge. Before we start, this is a disclaimer that you know, this is not for you to compare your baby to other babies. Each baby is different. Keep that in mind. And your baby might hit these milestones a few weeks or even a few months earlier or later. Um, just give your baby some time. Be patient and hopefully they'll hit these milestones. And maybe this will also help you kind of communicate with them and understand them a little better. Um, we'll talk about a smile first. All right. So by the first month, your baby should engage in a reflex smile, a reflex response, which means that smiling is random, um, not in response to anything. They might smile when you're changing them. They might smile randomly at nothing. They're just practicing those, um, those smile muscles, we'll say. <laughs> Uh, by about six weeks, your baby should engage in a social smile. A social smile is anything in response to someone else. They may smile at you, um, maybe you made a funny face, something like that. Uh, they might smile at others, but by seven months, um, they will use that smile to interact and bond with other people. And um, this is where it gets cute. <laughs> All right, next up is laughing. Um, by about three or four months, your baby should engage in laughing during activity or in play. But by one year, they should start to laugh at unexpected events. Their laugh should be a response to something. Maybe they're playing with a few blocks and the blocks fall over and they think it's funny and they engage in laughter, something like that. Um, and by two years, your baby should respond to their own behavior. They might think that something they did was funny, or um, they may even use their, they may even try to make other people laugh at this point, um, kind of understanding the power that the laughter holds. And we'll dive into some negative emotions. So when your baby is just born, and let's make sure that's in the frame. Um, they, a newborn baby, distress, crying, um, you know, that's their only way of communicating. They don't have any other way to communicate with you. So they will be in distress when they're hungry, when they're in pain, when they're overstimulated, all different kind of things. That's the only way they can tell you that they're uncomfortable. So they will engage in a lot of crying and distress. They'll be distressed. Um, anger and sadness. So by about two months, um, your baby should visibly, um, or they should have visible facial expressions that match the situation. So maybe you take something away from them and they start crying or they start getting sad or angry. So that's about two months, just those visible facial expressions. And um, we're, we'll talk about fear and distress. This one's a little bit you know, it starts to get a little more complex here because we start to dive into stranger wariness. And here's our stranger, here's our baby. Um, at about um, eight to nine months, you'll start to, um, you'll start to notice that your baby's starting to get, you know, concerned with strangers. They don't want to go near them. They prefer their caregiver rather than strangers. And this peaks, um, at about a year to 15 months. They really don't want to go near those strangers. They, they prefer caregivers or familiar faces. By seven to 12 months, um, your baby will show, display fear of novel, novel toys, different sounds. It's not just people, you know, by seven to 12 months, there might be a scary dinosaur toy that just totally scares them and makes them upset. Um, and by eight to 15 months, your baby will start to display separation anxiety. They don't want to be away from you. They get sad. When is mommy coming back? Um, that's about that's about eight to fifteen months. And um, next, we're going to talk about something called complex emotions, which is the next level of emotions, pretty much. Complex emotions are emotions like shame, 
guilt, envy, pride, or embarrassment. As you notice, things like shame and pride, things like that, they require the baby to be self-aware and also to have self-other distinction. Self-awareness and self-other distinction. There's a way you can test self-awareness in your baby. And if you're in this video, I assume you might, you know, it might be something you might want to check out. Um, check out the Rouge test, also known as the Mirror test. This is where um, it measures baby self-awareness. This is where you put a red dot on your baby's forehead and have them look in the mirror. By a certain age, babies just they, just, they think the person in the mirror is another person and they try to interact with the person and it's, you know, they don't know what's going on. But by about 18 months, um, about half of children are able, to, are able to recognize that that is actually them in the mirror with the red dot on their forehead. So their attempt to wipe the red dot off of their own face knowing that the mirror is a reflection of them and um, so that's by 18 months and by about 20 to 24 months they should be actually they should be able to um, notice that the person in the mirror is the same as themselves and they become they're self-aware and they can wipe that red dot off of their own face um, instead of reaching to the mirror you it's worth checking out this test because you start to see that um, a lot of animals are self-aware as well. So it's, it's a cool thing to look up and look into. Um, I'm trying to think. Another thing you might want to look into is the um, strange situation. These are kind of just um, basic psychology things we use. Um, the strange situation is... Um, a response is your baby's response to a temporary absence of the mother and reading into this is worth it because you start to kind of see the kind of attachments your baby is forming and so on and so forth so these are just some tools for you to research um but yeah those are just some really basic uh positive and negative emotions hopefully this gave you a quick rundown and if you have any other questions please don't hesitate to reach out to me or comment and i will do my best to get back to you bye